Our video today is about the city of Paris. In this video, we will show you all the places we went in our visit to the great city of Paris. Our first stop was at the Arch of Triumph, which was just five minutes away from our hotel. This place is amazing and always busy. It's good to have uh, your tickets booked in front online if you want to go on the top the best way to reach the place is by going through the tunnel because there's a lot of people try to cross the street and it is very dangerous and risky 284 steps to reach the top there is restrooms and shops and once you reach the top there is amazing views and especially you see Eiffel Tower from a distance. The closest thing to Arch of Triumphs is Champs Elysee, the very famous street with a lot of shops, restaurants, and big brand names. We are going next to Eiffel Tower, but this time we are using the subway system. You can use the machine to purchase single tickets or to get the Navigo card, you have to go to the counter and purchase one for each passenger and then use them as the same machine to upload them. 
the system here it's very nice and on time and very clean The Eiffel Tower experience is amazing. You have to do it once you're in Paris. You can eat lunch, dinner, or use a lot of the shops on top of the Eiffel Tower. Just make sure once you purchase the ticket, you purchase the summit ticket. If you're not paying for the summit ticket, you're not going to be able to go all the way to the top. You can go to the first floor and then take the stairs to the second floor and you take another elevator to go to the top.
One of the best ways to see the city of Paris is to take the Seine River cruise. This cruise is like almost hour and 15 minutes and you can see a lot of things close to the river. All the unique bridges and churches One of my favorite places to visit in Paris was Montmartre. This place is very unique, especially with the amazing basilica right on top, where you can see all the city of Paris. This place has a lot of unique uh, food and ice cream souvenir shops.
And of course, you can't visit Paris without visiting the Louvre Museum, world's busiest museum. Since the fire, Notre Dame Church is still closed, but it's still in a unique place and it's nice to visit and see what's going on since they started rebuilding the church. There is countless places to see and things to do in Paris. So there is no way we can cover everything in one video.
This city is huge. It's the second biggest city in Europe after London. But it's a very walkable city and of course you can use the subway too. And don't miss walking next to the river and enjoy all the restaurants and bars. And of course the city is beautiful at night. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and see you in the next video.